now the latest on May 18th from the Ride World of Tropics. Here's your Tropical Weather Bulletin. Well, a similar picture to what we've been seeing in the last few days on the World Overview. X-Cyclone Anne is still the only thing that we can attach a name to at this time, although we do have several other invests that could develop in the next few days. No storms are active in the Atlantic, but there is an area of interest with a 30% chance in the next five days in the Western Atlantic. It's day four of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season. Invest 91E persists a broad system out there in the Eastern East Pacific. No storms are active now in the Western Pacific or the North Indian Ocean. 93W uh, dissipated near the Mariana Islands. And in the Southern Hemisphere there, XAN and 95P has a high chance of development. Here is a look at Invest 95P, which is the headline of tonight. Uh, this is what we expect over the next few days, 35 miles an hour right now, 1006 millibars, 92 miles from Wachuma in Fiji. Uh, the system is expected to move towards the south and is now expected to become a tropical storm over the weekend, although we do expect it to be only a short-lived one before weakening to a remnant low by early next week. Uh, latest models show that the remnant could end up just west of Fiji. Here's the wind shear in the Atlantic. You can see very high amounts where that system could be developing in the next few days, at least at the minute. There's a look into the east and east Pacific there. Low amounts of wind shear over 91E. Here's another look at 91E right now. The visible imagery there showing extremely disorganized and broad circulation there, but very low wind shear. And this is the look at 95P right now, which has a lot more convection there and possibly really getting a center fix on that. Uh, wind shear though is moderate. North Atlantic satellite imagery looks like this. You can see this uh, frontal system there that this system could form off or spawn off the tail end of in the next five days. That's what the National Hurricane Center are putting a 30% chance on. It can't be identified as a system just yet, uh, but that's what we're looking at. Something appearing there uh, pretty soon in the next few days that we could be watching for potential development. The Eastern Pacific uh, doesn't have the invest on this particular image, it's off shot towards the right hand side, you can see some convection associated with it. Further towards the west there over the Central Pacific it's looking all quiet, uh, a few disturbances there near the uh, equator but nothing really of tropical note in terms of any cyclones. The Western Pacific looking pretty quiet, uh, what was left of 93W is gone, it's not discernible whatsoever there. Just a few disturbances there in the Philippine Sea, but really hardly anything we can call anything. The Australian region looks like this right now. You can see both XAN and uh, Invest 95P there on either side. And the Indian Ocean looks like this right now. Pretty quiet there at the minute. Um, and that's been the case for a few days now. And it looks to be the case for quite a bit longer yet. Sea surface temperatures still remain pretty similar to what they were yesterday, around 30 degrees or so underneath 91E. In the Western Atlantic, we're looking at around 26, 27 where that new system might be developing in the Caribbean, up to 28, maybe even a little bit higher than that depending on where exactly you are there. Uh, looking further towards the east here, uh, the Arabian Sea, very warm waters, probably the warmest on the globe right now, 30 or 31 degrees Celsius, the Bay of Bengal, 30. Uh, South China Sea 30 degrees and over there in the Philippine Sea towards the Guam region 30 degrees in the southern hemisphere around 29 or 30 degrees uh, where the 95P is and here is the satellite imagery of 95P in the last few hours looks like the convection is a little bit sheared towards the southern side of what would be its probable center wind shear is at least moderate there so that's not really a surprise looking pretty bare towards the northern side as we look at that water vapor imagery there some more infrared channels here now on display um, and you can see its general movement looks to be just towards the west south uh, west southwest um, and probably a more uh, proper turn towards the south over the next few hours Here's a look at ex-tropical cyclone Anne, uh, it's still going somehow. Very close to East Timor, uh, moving towards the west-northwest and still persisting with just those 
tiny little bits of convection and what's left of a ghost of a circulation really um, and we expect that this system will either bend towards the north or move towards the west northwest and really isn't going to be discernible for very much longer at all but my goodness it is still going as some sort of system even though it is ridiculously weak by this point so that's X Cyclone Anne, and this is the full naming list for the Atlantic, Eastern Pacific and Central Pacific on your screen. Well, May the 18th, if you haven't realised, 25 storms so far this year. The average per year is 91. The next name in the Atlantic, the first name is Andrea. In the Eastern Pacific, it's Alvin. The next name in the Western Pacific is Sepat, and the next name in the North Indian Ocean is Vayu. You can find Force 13 on our website, force13.com, and of course on our YouTube page, search Force 13 if you're not there already. Also, our Facebook and Twitter handles, at Force 13, at your service, so you can get in touch through any of those mediums. The next name in Australia is Blake. In the Southwest Indian Ocean, if we get the chance, it will be my Palo. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description. <laughs>